What's going on guys? My name is Essence and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're back. We do fun things here and today I'm talking about five things that you need to know about butterfly locks. Yeah, so maybe you're thinking about doing butterfly locks. Maybe you've seen this style but you're not quite sure. Should I do it? Should I not? I'm going to tell you five things that you need to know to take the guesswork out. I'm going to link down in the description bar the timestamps to this video just in case you want to skip from one point to the other. Go ahead and open the description box for the timestamp so you can jump back and forth. Also, you guys, I'm trying to get to 10K here on YouTube, so please remember to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any more tips videos, protective style videos, or natural hair videos from me. So if you want some tips and tricks on how to do butterfly locks, then keep on watching. Okay, number one. I think that one of the most important things that you need to know about the style is that not perfect is perfect. Let me say that again. Not perfect is perfect. So the thing about these locks, you can see I have mine in right here, is that they look perfectly imperfect. They look like, you know, a little bit wild, a little bit free, but that's what they're supposed to look like. So if you're in there and you're trying to get it like super perfect, or if you're looking at pictures and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can achieve that. The thing that makes them so amazing is that they don't have to be perfect and that's what's perfect perfect about them. So when you're doing your hair and you're installing them, the wrapping technique that you need, it doesn't need to be that complicated. The way that you wrap the hair around, it's not that complicated. So just know that not every single lock needs to look the same. And also, just a little bonus tip is that when you start your hair, you start from the back anyway. So when you're starting any protective style, just know the back people don't see as much as the front. So once you are in the back and you're kind of learning how to do it and you trial and error a couple times, by the time you get up to the front where it really matters, you're spot on. Okay, number two is that there's more than one way to do them. This was one of the most intimidating things for me because I felt like, oh my gosh, I don't want to single braid my whole head first and then wrap locks over them. Or I even saw somebody who crocheted in uh, full locks, like full locks from the hair store, crocheted full locks. I saw someone crochet in real full locks and then wrap the passion twist hair over those locks. And I was like, well, I don't want to waste a whole like six or seven packs of full locks just to wrap hair over them. But then after doing my research, I realized that there's more than one way to accomplish the style. So do the technique that works for you. Do it the way that you're most comfortable with. For me, that meant braiding a little bit at the root and then twisting the rest down later. I actually not, I actually didn't see anybody do that. I saw people either use their own hair and braid their hair all the way down or twist their hair all the way down. But for me, I realized, hey, I want the braid at the very, very top because I want my hair to be um, a little bit more sleek and neat at the very root. And then from there on, I just twisted the rest because number one, taking them out is gonna be a lot easier. But number two, if I twist it from the root all the way down, it's gonna be frizzy more quickly. So just do whatever works for you. Just realize that there's no one rule and you can do them the way that you want to. Number three, cover your roots. Now this is actually when you're doing the actual style, when you're getting the passion twist hair and you're wrapping it around your hair or your extensions or whatever, please make sure that you cover your roots properly. This is something for me that I realized, this being my first time, I could have done a little bit better. Take passion twist hair and make sure that you wrap it around the root of your hair a good three or four times. Make sure that your braid or your root, whatever you have under there is covered and then continue to wrap down because the hair is more slippery than your hair. And if you're moving, you're putting your clothes on, you're sleeping and it's tugging, it will slip off. I have evidence in the bathroom it will slip out. So make sure that you cover your roots properly because it will slip all the way out or it just might start to pull a little bit and you might see a little bit of your actual hair under there. So tip number three is to make sure that you cover your roots properly. Okay, tip number four, take your time. Now I know this kind of goes without saying, but for this style in particular, it's really important that you don't try to rush through this, that you take your time. So this hairstyle in particular is a little bit of a learning curve. Um, maybe you've done faux locks yourself before, but I think most of us haven't. So just go ahead and take your time. Just know that if it's a new style that you're working on, if it's something you haven't done before, don't think you're gonna be an expert right away. Just take your time and make sure that you're doing the style properly. That's the first part. But the second part to taking your time is also because you wanna make sure that you're covering your hair underneath properly, especially if your natural hair color doesn't match the hair color that you're using. So let's say you want an all black hairstyle, but you have 
blonde highlights on your head or you've dyed your hair red or the marley hair that you use is dark brown and the hair that you're using is black make sure that you're taking your time when you're wrapping the hair around so that way you're covering every single piece of your hair now for me my hair is pretty much black like it's very very dark um and i thought i was taking my time but i realized after you can actually see some of my hair popping out a little okay and tip number five the final tip is to master the loop at the end you may be like what are you talking about well loop at the end i did film a tutorial on these butterfly locks just in case you want to reference back i'm going to put it up here for you guys the loop on the end is basically what gives you this finishing bulb shall i say you know the sealed end that comes from a loop so when you get down twisting and then you have to loop the hair back up and twist back up if you if you've watched tutorials you know what i'm talking about and if you haven't watched tutorials watch mine but master that loop on the end because that is literally like the do or die of your hair staying in and your hair looking complete and not looking like it's tattering all over the place if you're not sure how to master the loop again go ahead and watch my video i'm going to link it right up here my tutorial on how i did it now that loop is also a learning curve don't get me wrong it's going to take a little bit of time to learn however once you've mastered the loop you're good to go and you can complete your hair and you can do any full lock style that you want after this all right you guys here's a bonus tip let's call it tip number six six <laughs> tip number six is that this hair is gonna get frizzy it's gonna get messy and it's gonna get messy pretty quickly so don't be alarmed if you've done your hair maybe and you've seen that you know it's starting to stick together like this it's starting to frizz up a little bit we are talking about passion twist hair water wave hair the the actual texture of the hair is quite fine quite loose so don't think that your hair is gonna be um, you know looking straight and all in the mix all the time it may be frizzy it make it frizzy pretty quickly and some people actually really really like that but when you go into it just know that might happen it may not stay perfect for a long time but again that's the perfect imperfection of this style anyways you guys those are my five tips five things that you need to know about butterfly locks if you have any questions please leave me a comment down in the comment description in the comment box i answer pretty quickly so definitely let me know especially if you're in the bathroom right now and you need some help on your locks hit me up thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one